From now on, any burger that I have in the history of ever going forward for the Wall Twins will be compared to the Junior Colombian Triple Cheeseburger for me. So we're caught up in drama. It's another beautiful day in sunny central Florida. You have to turn right. I got that. Thanks for your information. This is why we can't have nice things. What do we do when it's a sunny, beautiful day in central Florida, Brett? We eat. That's right. We eat. And where are we going to dine this day? We're going to a restaurant that was recommended by a buddy of mine and a lot of other people. And uh, it's called Junior Columbia's. S at the end or Junior Columbia? Junior Columbian Burger. Oh, Junior Columbian Burger. It was so close for the Columbian Burger. Uh, apparently it's the best burger out there. I thought your buddy recommended the triple. He might have, but regardless, we're eating burgers today they're gonna get eaten and they're gonna be enjoyed. Now, with um, all that everybody has been telling us about this thing, I'm actually wondering if this just might be the best burger that we'll ever have. And that's, that's this is interesting because, because of the recommendation it came, the, the mind bar is set really high. I'm coming in thinking this is a 10 burger, so that's a lot of pressure on this burger and it doesn't even know it yet. That's right, so we're gonna go and check it out. When, yeah. Um, yeah, that's yeah. it. Sure. That'll do it. You got the goods? All right, bro. Um, that's got some legit weight to it. It's a, it's a good it's eight pounds, maybe? But you know what? Let's go take it to the car so we can give this a review. I just want to dig in, to be honest with you. Let's go. So we got our food. Um, I can't wait to dig in. This is amazing. Ah, this bag is out of all the food reviews we've done. This is the heaviest bag by far. Uh, Junior Colombian burgers. First of all, they got the fries. Yummy. We just got the meals. We probably won't eat all these fries. They're seasoned fries. I didn't realize that. <laughs> they are seasoned. Dude, you took the fries out and the weight of the bag did not change. It is still, still, oh my gosh. Can't even get my hand around that. That is the triple cheeseburger, which was recommended by my boy Steve and a lot of, a lot of people. A lot of people. Chad recommended it. Sean recommended it. Yeah. Adam recommended it. A different Adam. So here we are. Let's uh, do a little bit of an unboxing. Let's see what's. Let's take a look under the hood. Let's take here. a look under the hood. Well, first of all, I'm dripping grease like ain't nobody's business. All right. Yeah. So I'm definitely. And by the way, room. grease in a burger sitch, never a bad thing. That's a good thing. Look at this. It okay. looks like a newspaper. It's not, but it is. Let us take a look. And that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is a triple Colombian cheeseburger. This is uh, my oh, buddy. Oh, my stars alive. I can't even. This is just. So let's talk about what's on here. They said you want it all the way. There's crushed potato chips on top. Crushed potato chips on there. 
It looks like there's melted gooey cheese in between each patty. Either that or it's just melted all the way over on top. It is. No, they've got cheese, I think, on every single patty. They've got some special sauce. I understand they put their pineapple sauce in here. I could be um, I could be wrong on that. Okay. If not, we did get some of the pineapple sauce on the side. Lettuce, tomato. Is there tomato in there? There's mm -hmm. tomato. Uh, they might have the pineapple and sauce And there's special sauce. Dude, I'm done talking about it. Can we just dig Let's into do this, this bad boy? Or I will eat to that, my brother. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, pineapple sauce on there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Not overhyped. Okay. So that gentleman in this restaurant, which we didn't get his name, we didn't. He said that this this burger, you can't overhype it. And he's right, dude. He said. You know what? They could say it's it's heavenly, I think, but it's for people to decide on their own. And man, he could not be more right. Now, think about any burger that you have that's the best burger you've ever had, okay? Um, compare your best burger to the Junior Columbian Burger. It's a, it, it, I'm telling you, it's a 10. This is a definitely a 10 burger. I'm so happy we got this burger. It is definitely a 10. The triple is way too much burger. Now, <laughs> But too much burger in a good way. This is probably gonna be lunch right now, dinner tonight, perhaps breakfast tomorrow. I might get three meals out of this. Um, but this is, oh, here we go. You know, I do the editing. And a lot of times, I edit a lot out of what Brett rambles on about. Today I'm okay with him rambling. Cause the more he rambles, the more I'm just gonna eat this bad boy up. I mean, it's just good beef. The beef is good flavor. So is your face. So is your face. I don't, I'm thinking they probably don't even season the beef because they don't need to. That's Let how me, good it let's is. Let's just stop right here. I feel like you're being critical like you're gonna, dude, this is the <laughs> best <laughs> burger I have ever had, period. End of story. There, this is a 10. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to, what do I, no. This is a 10. From now on, any burger that I have in the history of ever going forward for the Wall Twins will be compared to the Junior Columbian Triple Cheeseburger for me. This is, this is completely raise the bar, set the bar. I don't know what else could get there. The beef is perfect. Mm -hmm. The cheese is melty. It is everywhere. And it is everywhere in such a good way. They use their pineapple sauce that is legit. And it's not over, you can barely, no, it's just a sweetness, yeah, so a slight sweetness. When I heard the pineapple sauce, I'm like, well, let me get the best burger in the world without the pineapple sauce first, and I can add it on. I didn't know it came with it, so we got some pineapple sauce on for the sides, to maybe pour a little on, but yeah, it's on there, but it, it adds to the burger. It's a really good burger. So yes, this is this is one of those burgers that I will talk about until I try something that could beat it. I don't know that there's I believe I gave the new Quarter Pounder Fresh, right? Didn't I give that one a 10? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, that could, you know, here's the thing. Within a league of 10, there could still be more 10s. Um, but what my point is, if I'm basing this as the only 10, nothing else is a 10. So there's room for more 10s, but this is by far the best burger I have ever had. For me to say that is huge because I love burgers. Um, I get burgers at different places. I like to try new burgers. And this is really in a class of its own. It is a lot of beef. We could have done the double. Um, mm -hmm. We could have done the single. Uh, the just, only reason we did the triple is because it was re recommended. Right, that's it. So, wow, Junior Columbian, you've got huge fans in us. Four locations in Central Florida. They've got to be growing and expanding. There's no way this is going to stay local for long. I'm sure there are other places as well. I did get a picture in there. I'm Bogota, Colombia. Well, Brett and I already got our 5K in for the day. So I'm indulging a little bit more in the burger. A little bit with the fries. The seasoned fries are great as well. Yep. Dude, Junior Junior Colombian, they know what is up. They have empanadas, de pollo, y de carne. And um, their food looks ridiculous. Dude, that chicken burger. Sometime we'll have to come back and do a review of the chicken okay, burger. Okay, here, here's the thing. It's not a paid endorsement. They didn't ask us to come and do this. They are now on our top-notch favorite restaurants, places to go. So yes, we will probably end up reviewing everything on their menu. And here's the thing, and we've, we've said this, we don't know how many times. You know we don't like onions. We got this 
as it comes with everything. So you want everything on it, it works, whatever, yes, we did. We got the onions, the onions are such I a I think it's the sweet onions, because it's, it's- It is such a perfect flavor. Everything, everything adds on this bur this. burger complements the next thing on this burger. So it's a perfect marriage of everything, even the, the chips on it. You know, of course, I, I would think that chips would be amazing on anything. I'd have a, I'd have a chip sandwich. Remember when we were kids, we, we have Dorito sandwiches? Growing up, we'd, we'd get the thought of Dorito sandwiches. Did that teach us the Dorito sandwich? I don't know. And it literally, we couldn't wait to get home. If you think about it all day long, we'd get home, get seriously, two pieces of Wonder White bread, get Doritos, put them in between, smash them together, and then eat it. That's a Dorito sandwich, that's it. White Wonder bread. Wonder White Carry bread. On. <laughs> Gosh. White Wonder Bread. My apologies to the Wonder Company and the Wonder Family. You are wonderful. <clears throat> so is this burger. This I burger wonder, is wonderful. I wondered if you were going to get that right. <laughs> <sighs> you are so cheesy. <laughs> I deal with it. Yeah, you can put Adam in a... Hey, almost as cheesy as this burger, right? Nothing is cheesy. Well, listen, we're going to finish this up. I don't even know what more to say about it. Columbia, Junior Columbian Burger. And here's the thing. I didn't even come starving. I came hungry, not starving, where I find my, my reviews are really high. It's because, man, I came famished, starving. I would give a, a tuna fish sandwich a 10. No, that's not true. But I do like, but I, I like tuna, tuna fish sandwich. Why, why, why did tuna get dragged into yeah. this? <laughs> I'm at a liverwurst. <laughs> Liver worst is never gonna get. It has the word it has the word worst in it. It's the liver worst sandwich. That's a shout out. Our dad used to love liver, liver worst sandwiches. Must have been the generation he grew up in. Clearly wasn't our generation. No. So, uh, but we love this. This is unbelievable. Uh, didn't come hungry. Still best burger we've ever had. Uh, would you agree? Yes. Out of all the burgers we've ever had, this is. I recommend this burger over. Uh, uh, Head and shoulders above any other burger that we've had. So we're gonna get up on out of here. But Brett, yeah, why did we decide to come out here and do this? Cause all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu and a don't. Figured I'd give you a good look at the sandwich. Forget to like and subscribe. I like it better because it covers his face. Ah.